Hi, this is Joe for the United Devils. Please hit subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, thanks for watching our preview game for Luton Town versus Manchester United in the English Football League Carabao Cup. Now, before we do, we've got to do it. Saturday. Since Saturday's defeat against Crystal Palace, I've seen loads of people coming out saying, you know, Ollie's done, you know, Ollie's tactics are rubbish. Um, Ollie chose the wrong side. Woodward's this, the Glaziers are that. Well, on those two points, I can't disagree, but people are blaming Ollie for Saturday's result. And let me tell you, that's just so far from the truth that there's a fact that's that's missed in all of this. On the day after we lost to Sevilla in the Europa League, as our players were coming home from Germany, um, dreaming of their two-week holiday to Mauritius or whatever they've booked that morning on lastminute.com, um, there was something else taking place. I don't know if you know what that is, but it's really important. It's the fact that Crystal Palace started their pre-season training. Okay? As our band of weathered and beaten heroes were going off to foreign climes, going to places like, um, I don't know, south of France or wherever, Crystal Palace were starting their conditioning routines for the new season ahead. Okay? So, what this means is, no matter what tactics Oli played on Saturday, whether we had Sancho McRonaldoson on the right wing, it wouldn't have mattered. We were not ready yet. We were just nowhere near them in terms of sharpness. We were second to every ball. We couldn't do the things we wanted to, like Pogba or Bruno in the middle. Uh, they just were not ready. And to be honest, guys, I expect this to happen for another couple of weeks. I expect the worst results for the next couple of weeks because until we are on fighting terms, um, uh, in terms of fitness and sharpness as to where the rest of the teams are, it might not go that well. So low expectations for a couple of weeks. And then after that, well, when, when we're up there with the rest, then I think we'll get the best out of this team as we would normally expect. Um, you know, I mean, no no one played well. I thought that Tom and I had a decent game, um, but I don't think anyone else came out of it with any real credit. Anyway, Luton Town. Okay, so drawn, again, drawn away against uh, Luton Town at uh, Kenilworth Roads. Uh, for the uh, English Football League Cup. Um, Luton uh, promoted twice in two seasons, now in the Championship. I didn't even realise that. I thought they were still Division 2, League 2. Um, still playing at Kenilworth Road. Um, but they have beaten Derby and Barnsley in the league and also beaten Reading and Norwich City in the Cup in order to play against United. Um, their two biggest scorers last year were Collins and Cornick uh, with 14 and 9 goals respectively. Their biggest assister, uh, who was, I think, uh, Isaiah or Izzy Brown, whichever you want to call him, uh, was a loan signing from Chelsea, who's now gone to Sheffield Wednesday. Um, they are one of only three, two, three teams in the Championship who are on full points for the two games that they've played. However... I don't really think this should cause a massive amount of problems. Um, but here's the side I predict, uh, going from the back. It's got to be Henderson, I think, to start. Um, I think it'd be a shock if, if it was De Gea or Ghana. But I think it's going to be Henderson. It has to be. You know, it's, it, that's, I think, his competitive debut for United. Um, Wambisaki didn't play on Saturday, but I think he will tomorrow. He and Matic came back on the same day for training, which I think was last Monday. Um, so I think Aaron Wambasaka will start. I think he has to start. Um, on left back, I think Williams will get his uh, first start this year. Uh, well, this this uh, uh, this uh, 2020, 2021. Uh, at the back will be Maguire. I think um, Ollie's still wanting Maguire to kind of, kind of get past this whole Greek arrest, you know, uh, F off to the Greek civilization thing that he allegedly said. No, I'm not having that. I'm not having that. I'm not having that he said that at all. Um, 
death to the Greek place, death to the, the Greek civilization, to Aristotle. No, I'm sorry, but no, it, it, in my opinion, it's ridiculous. I mean, why would someone in Greece go on record and say that he said these things? It's just outstanding to even think that. Just makes me laugh. Anyway, uh, yeah, Maguire, I think, will be kept in alongside Bailey. Um, but Bailey's got to play, I think. I think uh, romantic wise, I think we'd like Mengi to play. I love Mengi. I think he's going to be a massive player for us. I just think that, not yet, really. Um, there is another school of thought. Well, if not, if not now for Mengi, if not this match, when? But I think there's other players who need time um, uh, to get fit. Bailey uh, being one of them. Um, in midfield, I think it's going to be Fred. Uh, instead of Matic, because I know that Fred and Matic came back on the same day, but I just think Matic probably isn't quite as ready yet, and I think Fred needs that, because I think we're going to rely on Fred a bit this, this year. Uh, in midfield, um, Van der Beek, not ideal throwing him in, a new sign at, at Kenilworth Road, but you know I think he, he might want to be a leader out there. Alongside um, Lingard, uh, despite um, possible links of him going to Tottenham, Will he? Won't he? I don't know. Um, will he be first choice there? Probably not. So um, he'll probably have to settle for what he gets at United, which is not much game time. I don't think that's a go with that. I don't think there's anything in it, but, you know, hey. Uh, right wing James again. I think, um, you know, shouldn't really say it and probably get criticised for doing so. I think that Championship is probably uh, James's level. Don't shout. Um, up front, obviously, well, obviously, I think it's going to be a Gallo, and I think uh, next to a Gallo, I think it'll be Rashford because I think um, so much matters as regards to Rashford about our team. Um, when we think about our midfield three, uh, I know p probably people won't agree, reckoning that uh, uh, Pogba, Van der Beek, and uh, Bruno can't play together. I think they can, um, but. Um, when we're thinking about that and we're thinking, well, what can they actually do? I mean, Bruno can find the little spaces. Uh, Van der Beek can as well, although him and Pogba are the same in that they can float balls over the wings. Um, and we always imagine, don't we, kind of like the, the balls that Pogba plays over to Rashford. Um, and I think Rashford needs to get back to what he did pre-lockdown because um, what, if he can do that, then I think that's a massive thing. I mean, Marshall is going to be Marshall. Mar Marshall's just going to do his thing. But I think Rashford needs to really um, get back to what he was in order for our team to function as we know they can. And I think if when that happens, I think when actually, um, then I think and we get fit, I think things will very much change for United. Um, I think a 2-0 win uh, due to the fact that we're not quite that sharp yet, won't be as sharp as Luton are. However, I think class will tell on the day. So um, my guess is 2-0, uh, United win, and we go through to the next round. Thank you very much for, uh, thank you very much for watching Joe at the United Devils. Go, go Man United!